Hi everyone, it's Taylor from Bobby Farm Rabbitry, and today we are going to be going through line at Show and Chip. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. It's been about four months since I posted. Yeah, it's just college and everything got in the way. I just got so busy and I was having trouble uploading videos. But, um, in the rabbitry today, I have a rabbit in front of me, so you know what that means. We're going to do showmanship. Um, now, I posted a showmanship video last year, and a while, a while, a while, a while back, um, sorry, words are hard, um, I got a request to do showmanship with a lion head. I was told that my last showmanship video really helped um, her daughter, the person's daughter, um, improve on her showmanship and do well at state fair. So, um, I really want to help them out and help anyone else out. Um, so I got this amazing little guy right here and he's going to help us today. Um, I usually do showmanship on Netherland Dwarfs, but with the improvements and my gaining of knowledge, God just entered the table, sorry, um, <laughs> And uh, with just my gaining of knowledge and my improvements in my breeding, um, I really feel that lion heads are going to be the best choice for a showmanship rabbit this year. And my showmanship rabbit from last year is going to be going back to her breeder, um, just because I'm not currently using her in any of my programs. But anyway, um, without further ado, um, I'm going to go through the lion head showmanship. Um, and yeah, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and you can always message me through my social medias which I will list after um, I'm done with this so without further ado I'm going to kind of um, explain kind of the first part and then I'm going to go into it and go all the way through my presentation all right so I'm walking in I make sure to have my rabbit underneath my arm, legs underneath my arm like this so the rabbit is calm. Set him on the table, pose him up in his natural pose. Then I begin. Hello, my name is Taylor Arns. I am a member of the Lefty Live Wars 4-H Club and my exhibitor number is number 47. This is my rabbit, Arctic Blast. Arctic Blast is a blue tort junior lionhead buck. Lionheads were first recognized by the ARBA in 2013 under the COD of Teresa Mueller. There are six known varieties of, li of proved varieties of lionheads. Torts, Rue, Black, Siamese Sable, Seal, and Chocolate. I feed Arctic Blast approximately one-third cup, a period of show rabbit feed, which has 16% protein in it, as well as fresh water every day. And I give him occasional Timothy hay. Now I will show you the dimensions of my rabbit. This is the left side of my rabbit. His side has no bumps or blemishes. His ear is clean and is free from any mites, ticks, or any other ear parasites. He has a tattoo in this ear, and the tattoo reads A, B, 2. I would like his ear to be a little thicker in substance, but his ear does not have excessive wool on it. This is my rabbit's left eye. His eye has no matter or bacteria in it, and he does not have any marbling of the eye or any sort of cloudiness of the eye. His eye is the correct gray color according to the standard of his color. This is the right side of my rabbit. His side has no bumps or blemishes. His ear is clean and is free from any mites ticks, or any other ear parasites. He does not have a tattoo in this ear. 
the only tattoo that is acceptable in this ear is a registered tattoo. His ear could use a little bit more substance to it, but he does not have excessive wool on his ear. This is my rabbit's right eye. He does not have any matter or bacteria in his eye. No infections, no marbling, and no cloudiness. And his eye is the correct color according to the standard of his color. This is the front side of my rabbit. His ear set is a little bit further back than I'd like, but he has a good width to his face, and he does not have any infections, matter, or bacteria in his nose, and he does not have the snuffles. This is the rump of my rabbit. Notice how he has a distinct separation between roback fur and wool. He is a little bit flat over his top line. I wish he was a little bit flatter in his top line. But otherwise, he has a nice rollback condition and nice dense wool. My rabbit's tail is not broken, dislocated, and he does not have right tail. This is the underside of my rabbit. His teeth, he does not have any simple or complete malclusion, and his teeth are not broken or missing. These are my rabbit's front feet. He has nice, thick bone, and on this foot, he does not have a sore foot pad, and he has one, two, three, four, five toes and toe nuts, including the dewclaw. None of them are mismatched, miscolored, broken, or missing, and this leg is not broken. And on this leg, he does also have thick bone, and he does not have a sore foot pad, and he has one, two, three, four, five toes and toenails, including the dewclaw. None of them are mismatched, miscolored, broken, or missing, and this leg is not broken. As I feel along his belly, he does not have any bumps or blemishes. These are my rabbit's back feet. On this foot, he does not have a sore hock, and he has one, two, three, four toes and toenails. None of them are mismatched, miscolored, broken, or missing. And this leg is not broken. On this foot, he does not have a sore hock, and he has one, two, three, four toes and toenails. None of them are mismatched, miscolored, broken, or missing. And this leg is not broken. And when I sex him, You can see that he is in fact a buck, and he does not have any split penis or any sort of infection on his genitals. And he has one, two, testicles. That is the end of my presentation. Are there any questions? Okay, so that was kind of my presentation. Um, I kind of went through certain things. You don't have to do everything that I did, but what, typically what I do in my introduction is I list um, just a few little history tidbits, say things like when the breed was recognized, who was the COD holder of the breed, and then sometimes I'll go into recognized varieties, and then I go into what I feed Arctic Blast. Um, or whatever. Insert your rabbit's name here, basically. Um, you want to make sure that you list the rabbit's class, the rabbit's name, the rabbit's class. No, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> the rabbit's name, the rabbit's class, and the rabbit's variety. Anyway, I'm sorry, my rabbits are making a lot of commotion. Um, <laughs> just another guy. Sorry. <laughs> and then I go into the dimensions of my rabbit. So, when you do the dimensions of your rabbit, so you go through each side of your rabbit, and usually it does not matter what order you go in, as long as you check all the boxes, you're going to be fine. But typically, all right, he did it for me. 
Typically what I do is I start on the left side. This is how I was taught. Um, this is just how I do it. And then I go kind of side, ear, eye, right side, side, ear, eye, front side, ear set, with the face, nose, rump. I go the condition of the fur. Um, then sometimes we'll do a little bit about the top line. Like I said, his top line is a little flat. You don't have to mention that if you are not as knowledgeable on that sort of subject, then you do not have to mention it. As long as you mention the condition and type of fur that your rabbit has, or that a lion head has, which is roll back and wool, then you're fine. And then you go to the tail. Then you go to the underside. Okay, when you go to the underside, you take these two fingers, you kind of, okay, sorry. You take these three fingers, you put the middle one in between the ears, the other two on the outside, and you flip over, you put a little bit of pressure, and then you kind of rest the rabbit on your forearm like that. It doesn't hurt the rabbit. Um, it's the proper way to flip over your rabbit so that way you're not hurting the rabbit. And then I go teeth. So with the teeth, I go, does this rabbit have malclusion? Does it have a chipped tooth, broken tooth? Stuff like that. Then I go to these front limbs. Usually I don't mention the denseness of the bone, but if you want to and you have time in your presentation, by all means, you can do that. Then you want to say, does this rabbit have any sore foot pads? Like, are there any sores or anything? Then you want to go to the nails. When you go to the nails, what you'll do is you'll kind of take this and you'll expose the nail. See how I kind of expose it like that? Um, kind of expose the nail, take the fur away, like kind of push the fur back a little bit. Just exposing it to show the judge, um, you know, kind of what the color of the nail is. Um, and then you want to go kind of, you want to go both of these feet, mention that the nails are not miscolored, mismatched in any way. Don't have the wrong color, like say it's a black, a black lion head. And... It has light toenails. You know, you would have to mention that that would be a disqualification. You know, um, just say that if, say you have a rabbit with a DQ, which you can do, by the way, if, say, um, say Arctic Blast has a DQ. He has a DQ. Say it's mismatched toenails, which one of my rabbits does have mismatched toenails. If I were to show him in a presentation, I would say, he has mismatched toenails, so he would be disqualified in competition. It could be the most gorgeous rabbit on earth, but if it has mismatched toenails, it's going to be disqualified, unfortunately. But that's just kind of something to note. You can show rabbits that have disqualifications, okay? Then you want to feel along the abdomen, um, just that no bumps or blemishes. Then what I do when I go to the back feet, tuck him kind of in my arm right here. And then I go to the back feet. Talk about the straightness of the legs. And when you talk about the straightness, all you do is it's very simple. Kind of take this foot, stretch it out a little bit so you're not hurting the rabbit. Then you want to talk about, um, then once you're done with that, you talk about sexing the rabbits. So basically you take these two fingers right here. Kind of grip the tail slightly, pull the tail back, and what you do is then you expose, expose the rabbit's penis if it's a buck or it's a genitals, you know, it's a, if it's vent if it's a doe. And you kind of say, as you can see, he is in fact a buck. He does not have split penis or any other infections. And then you're going to want to 
show the judge testicles because it is a disqualification if you do if the rabbit does not have one if the rabbit does not have both testicles. So you kind of blow and kind of expose it. You can just blow on it if it's a buck. If it's a doe, I'm sorry, if it's a doe, um, all you have to do is sex the doe and say she does not have vent disease or anything like that. And um, that's kind of how you do it. That's kind of lion head showmanship right there. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you contact both of my social medias. Um, and one of my social medias and I will I will answer to the best of my ability. I'm usually pretty good about answering messages, but um, I will definitely be trying to answer any of your messages. And thank you guys for joining today. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, an amazing week, and an amazing summer. And make sure as always, God bless and talk rabbits.